Hey everybody, it's Adam. I'm over here at uh, Pamelab today, and I'm getting set up to work to start a uh, learn with me workshop. So what these workshops are are things like um, tools or skills or whatever that I know a little bit about, but not a, not a lot, and I want to learn more. Um, and in order for me to do that, I would like to pick the brains of other people who would also like to learn more. So um, yeah, so this is uh, this is the welding one. And check it out here's our welding area um, it's still a little bit messy but not terrible and we got a lot of our, our welding here's our welder we're going to be using today the power mig uh, 210 mp it's uh, from lincoln electric um, i believe this was donated a long time ago um, or purchased by the lab i'm not entirely sure but it's awesome because this is this one i have at home which is just like a oh, this is like a harbor freight one that uh that you can get fairly cheap but it's a uh it's like a, a flux welder it doesn't use any gas so um this one i like a little bit better because it's a lot more powerful and can uh do a lot more uh it's a little bit a little bit more professional level i think but yeah this is it um here are all the welding helmets and masks that we have over here we have a little bit of a collection of gloves um, I did bring my own gloves today and a couple welding helmets just in case. Um, for one thing, my hands are a little bit bigger than what those gloves can fit. So I just went to Harbor Freight a while back and got got some welding gloves. They don't last entirely long, but they're pretty good. And um, yeah, so that's it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get some people showing up soon and we'll get started playing around with some welding. Here's the kits I got on Amazon. Probably a little bit smaller than what you would want to practice on as a new beginner, but um, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm not super new, but I'll give it a try and then see, see what happens. Not entirely terrible. Hopefully I'm not splattering stuff on the lens. Not entirely terrible. Penetration doesn't seem great, but this wasn't clean. Which reminds me, I have not cleaned this stuff. So I think I'm going to go clean these real quick on the sander. Alright, so I came over here to the 2x72 um, real quick knife making. Um, I just want to throw a belt on here that's been used because I just need to sand it a little bit. good enough doesn't look amazing but doesn't need to so, I'm gonna start by putting 
one in the middle maybe just to start holding it together just a quick tack weld and uh, since I got nothing to put this on I'm just gonna turn off for now all right so I think in hindsight I should have closed this way all the way around and made a box there first because now well I actually got it to line up now I had to use a screwdriver to kind of bend it to get it to line up but um it, it's not really I don't think it's really lining up the right way can't really tell unless I get like some calipers out but I mean for a first try come on now so um I think what I'm gonna do is hit this corner hit these two corners and then um yeah, I don't know maybe uh maybe start doing the lines One of the problems I hate about using the table is the, um, the grounding point as you tend to stuff tends to stick to it. I wonder if it'll do it if I use this plate instead and to sit it on. Let's do this corner next. kind of stuck to it. Maybe it's because I need to let it cool off a little bit because it is pretty warm. But I'm gonna get one last corner here. Seems pretty square. I won't know until I grind all these off. And... So the question is, do I leave it like that with just the tack welds, or do I do full welds? See, that's where it's stuck. Some stuff that was on the table. Just suppose I can grind off. Anyway, I'm gonna let this cool off for a little bit first, and then we'll move on after that. So, from my understanding, one of the keys to doing this is to make sure the whole thing doesn't stay hot; otherwise, it'll it'll flex in different areas. Um, and since I'm trying to see if I can make it accurate. You know the 90 degree angles on every ang on every side um, I think I'm gonna do that but that's gonna put it damper because this is extremely small and it just absorbs the heat super quick so I don't think I'm gonna get much done before I have to I think I'm gonna have to do a line like one edge and then wait for a while and do an edge and then wait for a while. so so on and so forth but um, let's give it a try. I'm going to start here. Yeah, see it's already pretty darn hot. Um, I thought I went pretty quick, but I still got a pretty big bump there. I think, I, mean, I don't know if it made, I think it made good penetration, but I would think it would have been smaller. Maybe I gotta go faster. Maybe I can just slow this down. 
Yeah, I think the setting was a little high. The feed speed was at like 168. I, I dropped that down more towards the middle of the green section. I'll show you right down there. Um, see how it's a little green section right there? Uh, it was just outside of that in the red. So uh, I dropped that down to 140 now. It's more towards the middle. Um, so we're going to give this a little bit of time for it to cool off. And then uh, we'll give it another shot. I also want to try and do opposite sides to equal out the, um, the warp that it may get. So I got this corner. And I'm going to flip all the way around to do this corner next. Complete opposite corner. Well, edge. Complete opposite edge, not corner. So that time I can tell because I didn't have to go as fast. I could tell that I got good penetration. And look at that, that's, that's a lot better of a weld. Um, it's not, it doesn't stand out as much as that one. Not as much, not ooh, 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 hot. Okay, it, it doesn't stand out as much. It does stand out, but um, not as much. So overall not terrible yet. It gets so hot so quick. I guess I could dunk it in water and then I have to dry it off each time, but I'm afraid to I'm afraid to do anything that can cause warping. Although I don't, it doesn't need to be 100% accurate. I just want to see how accurate I can get it. These gloves aren't the greatest because the inside is peeled away, so. Hot metal looks like cold metal though, right? Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do is maybe get this one next. Not as good, but I'm gonna keep working on it. Probably should be waiting for it to pull off, but I don't want to. So <clears throat> I think part of cooling it down is you don't do this. Now, otherwise I would say that I had the power up too high, but considering the other welds turned out good and this only started happening when I stopped letting it cool down enough, um, I believe that's why I blew, did what's called a blowout, which is where um, you, you blow through the metal completely um, and leave a hole and, and you know, you can't, harder to fill that hole as you're welding. So um, it happened twice. I, I think now I'm just I'm really going to let this cool down for a good while. Um, I've been giving it a couple minutes, but it really needs to be a lot longer than that or I need to go dunk it. Um, but I don't want to dunk it because I don't want the stress uh, on the metal. Uh, I'm not, I don't think it'll matter in this case, especially it's a practice item, but still it's uh, I want to do like a best practice thing. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to have to try and fill that later after it cools off, but, uh, I got this whole, this, uh, this whole side done. Welds aren't too bad. I'm going to have to obviously do a lot of sanding, 
grinding, whatever. But uh, that 2x72 should knock this out. But again, it's so small, it's going to heat up when I do that. So, but I'll show you that when we get there. Yeah, see, I shouldn't have. I don't know why I went to that side. I should have went to here at least. But I went right next to where I was welding previously. In fact, this was the previous weld here, so I went that. I shouldn't have did that. Anyway. That's why I'm here, to learn. Gotta have the fan off, let's talk. It's also not a good idea to have the fan blowing on um, your your piece as you're welding because um, although it would be good to cool off your piece as you're welding, it actually blows the, you know, out of, out of the tip you got, you have um, gas coming out. And when the when the wind is blowing across, it'll just blow the gas away. Now, it'll work very well. Um, so, some of the welds are not great, um, but then some aren't that bad. I can't really flip it over right now because it's hot. Um, these are one of the bad ones. We have some that are pretty decent. Um, some there actually seem really good. I wish it would focus closer. Anyway, um, yeah, so now I believe I got every side, it looks like. Yeah, I got every, I got every edge. So, next part is to, um, let's see. Next part is to, to grind it. And, um, right now I needed to cool off before I can do that. And... But then I'll show you that process. Alright. So, here's what it looks like so far. Like I said, not terrible. So, that, I do have a minor blowout there. I'll focus. Anyway, you can see it. I do have a minor blowout there, but I think that's the only spot, and I think. I don't know. It's probably, I mean, it's not going to fill in when I grind, I don't believe. I mean, shouldn't. Metal shouldn't melt, but anyway, I'm just going to um, start grinding it, see if I can grind it flat, but you can see it kind of, I don't know if, it kind of looks straight. It looks like the weld isn't straight, obviously, but anyway, let's um, let's get started on this. Now, ideally, I should be wearing a mask, but I can't find mine, so um, kids don't do as I do. The other thing is, um, I want to wear gloves, but I'm going to be dipping in the water, and since it's so close to my hand, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I want to dip the whole glove in the water. I do also want this. Here it goes. Trying to get it even on all sides has been a pain in it, but I didn't. Don't know why I thought that was going to be easy, but like this obviously is not even. You can just tell. Maybe calipers in market. I don't know. I think I'm just going to round the edges and leave it as is. Definitely not dimensionally accurate, but pretty darn cool. You can see some cracks from where I, the welds weren't 
perfect. I can grind that down further probably and get rid of them, but I like it how it is. Pretty cool. I think I'm going to start by putting the yeah, light sucks. And I just broke my... Wow, I'm batting a thousand today. <laughs>